اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم انڈیپینڈنٹ سامپل ٹی ٹیسٹ یوزنگ ایس پی ایس ایس رننگ انٹرپریٹنگ اینڈ رپورٹنگ ناؤ ان دس سیشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لک ان ٹو ہاؤ ٹو یوز انڈیپینڈنٹ سامپل ٹی ٹیسٹ ان ایس پی ایس ایس الانگ وتھ ہاؤ ٹو انٹرپریٹ دا ریزلٹس اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو رپورٹ دا ریزلٹس now an independent sample t test is used when you want to compare mean scores between two different groups for one continuous variable so you've got a continuous variable and you want to assess whether this particular variable actually differs between the two groups or not for example marks of the students whether female score higher than male or male score higher than female for instance salary between compared between maybe pakistan and india or any other continuous variable that you want to compare now following are the few scenarios in which you can use independent sample t test so a teacher wants to know if there are significant differences in marks obtained in the subject business research by the students of the two sections now you've got two sections and you've got a dependent variable that is marks a manager would like to know if there are differences in morale for male and female employees So there are two groups male and female and morale is compared between male and female employees so your morale is your dependent variable that is compared between male and female employees a marketer would like to know if buying behavior of people of two cities so now your two cities are basically your categorical variables and buying behavior is your dependent variable that is compared between those two cities an educationist wants to investigate if the teacher satisfaction varies between school and college teachers so your categories are school and college teachers and teacher satisfaction is dependent variable which is compared between the two categories now independent sample t test is used to compare a dependent variable a continuous variable a criterion variable between two categories and those categories are referred to as your independent variable Now in each of the above mentioned scenarios we could easily see that the data is collected on one continuous variable marks obtained morale buying behavior teacher satisfaction however it is collected from two different groups that is two sections male or female two cities school or college now these are then compared using independent sample t test so what are the assumptions of independent sample t test make sure that your dependent variable is on interval or ratio scale your independent variable is categorical with two groups and your independent samples or groups that is independence of observation there is no relationship between the subjects in each sample this means that subjects in the first group cannot also be included in the second group no subject in either group can influence subjects in the other group no group can influence the other group this is that these samples or groups should be independent of each other now if there is violation then this will yield an inaccurate p value so another or final important assumption is normal distribution that is approximate normal distribution of the dependent variable for each group however non normal population distribution especially those that are thick tailed or heavily skewed considerably reduce the power of the test so it has to be approximate it should not be very highly skewed among moderate or large samples a violation of normality may still yield accurate p values so if you've got non normal data make sure that you've got a very large or moderate sample So how do you report independent sample t test I'm going to practically look into how to report these results but here are the two templates for example if you've got insignificant results you can use this one if you've got significant results you can use this one now how do I run independent sample t test in amos now the problem that I'm going to assess using independent sample t test is this one so my h1 is that there is a significant difference in customer loyalty between male and female respondents So the categorical variable is gender with two categories male and female and my dependent continuous variable is customer loyalty so how do i check this in spss so just go to your data click analyze compare means independent sample t test 
Now my dependent variable is customer loyalty. Here it is. So I'll add it to the test variable section. And my grouping variable is gender. So I just select gender, add it to the grouping variable, define groups. So one is for male, two is for female. Just press continue. Just press OK. Now here are your results. For male, the sample size was 414, the mean is 3.92. For female, the sample size was 360 and the mean was 3.80. Well, by the look of it, uh, as we see the mean, the, the, the male customers seem more loyal than female customers. Now, is this difference significant? Now, in order to assess the significance of difference, we need to assess or look into this particular table here. Now, the significance is assessed based on p-value or significance value. But the issue here is we've got one significance value here and we've got another significance value here. So which one shall we use? Now in order to assess the significance of difference between male and female, we are going to check this particular significance value here. But there are two significance values or p-values. One, two. Which one shall I use? In this case, obviously both of them are same, but they could be different as well. So we should know which one shall we use. Now, in order to assess which one, the top one or bottom one, we have to look into this, Levine's test for equality of variances. Now, in this case, the significance value for Levine's test for equality of variance is greater than 0 0.05. Now, when this value is greater than 0 0.05, this means equal variance is assumed. Now, if this value, for example, let's assume this value was less than 0 0.05 here. So then you would have said equal variances not assumed. So what about equal variance assumed and equal variance not assumed? This means that there are equal variances between the two groups. And this means that there are not equal variance between the two groups. In this case, we can assume equal variances in the groups or in male and female groups. In this case, we can see that equal variance is assumed in the two groups. Because the p-value here, the significance value for Levine's test of equality of variance is greater than 0 0.05. So we will use this top value here. And this is less than 0 0.05. So this shows that there are significant differences in the customer loyalty between male and female respondents. Now, how do you report the independent sample t-test? In order to do this, we've got this template here. And I'm going to use this template. So an independent sample t-test was conducted to compare the customer loyalty for male. So instead of group 1, we write male. And instead of group 2, we will write female. So you have mentioned the groups. There were significant differences, so T and degrees of freedom. So what is your degrees of freedom here? Your degrees of freedom is 772 because you are going to use the top value. 772. And your T statistics is 2.470, which is greater than 1.96. 2.470. And your p-value is 0 0.014, 0 0.014. In this course with the mean score for group 1, so here instead of group 1, you can write male. So you can obviously put in the mean and standard deviation for male. And here you will put the mean and standard deviation for female group. So let me do just one quickly. So for male, 3.92.70. So 3.92 and the standard deviation was 0 0.70. And similarly, you can do for female as well. The magnitude of the differences in the mean. So what was the mean difference? Just have a look here. So mean difference was 0 0.125 or 0 0.12. 
and what was the 95% confidence interval so here is your 95% confidence interval so now there is no zero in between so this means that the results or the differences are significant 0 0.025 0 0.225 So here is your confidence interval and hence H1 was supported. Why? Because you had significant results. The p-value was significant. Similarly, you can add the same data here from this table. So you just copy this table onto your Word document and just paste the information from here onto this particular table. Now in this case, let's say for Levine's test, I'm going to just copy this one here. Copy, paste. And for T, degrees freedom, significance, mean difference, standard error, and 95% confidence interval. So you can copy it and just paste it here. The last one is missing, just rearrange the table. So just copy it here and paste it here. Similarly, you can just copy the mean and standard deviation from this descriptive table and put it in there. I hope the video would have helped you understand the concept of independent sample t-test, how to interpret the results and how to report the results. Thank you very much.